everyone, today I'm going to be talking about something on which I've changed my mind in the last year. For a long time I was an opponent of padded undershirts like this one because I saw them as basically a cheating method, people would wear them specifically to get the bounce. But uh, about a year ago, it was in May of 2012, I played a game uh, and the rules were such that uh, overshooting at very close range was incentivized. Uh, the surrender rules were a little bit loosey-goosey and players were allowed to lie about what team they were on, so basically the rules encouraged players to overshoot people at close range, and that resulted in many people on the field, myself including, getting lit up a couple times, uh, getting some really nasty bruises from it. Since then, I've been noticing a lot of instances of younger players, mostly, that don't have trigger control, with very nice markers that demand some degree of trigger control to use correctly. I'm not talking about the player that's out for their third time that has a tip of 98 or something. That's not really something you have to worry about. I'm talking about the player that's only played a half dozen times, and yet they're out on the field with a mini or some Bob Long marker or something, and just rail on everyone in sight. This is a problem, and it's becoming more prevalent. So after getting lit up uh, pretty badly a few times in the last few months, I've caved, I've said, okay, you know what? The padded undershirt thing, probably not a bad idea because this is getting a little bit ridiculous. So I looked around and I decided to go with this one. This is the Planet Eclipse padded undershirt jersey thing. So I actually used this not that long ago uh, at a fairly large game and I decided that I really like it and I'm going to keep it and as long as it's not too, too hot, this will probably become part of my regular playing gear. So uh, this jersey is not the most padded undershirt you're going to find, but it's pretty good. It's got a fairly good sized chest pad that is uh, fairly thin padding, but fairly dense. So it does its job quite well. It's fairly short though, so it doesn't extend all the way down to cover your belly. If you're wearing a pack, this won't be a problem, but if you're not wearing a pack, then you might be a little exposed around the midsection. The back has similar padding, the same density and thickness, very nice padding with some venting in it that's uh, perhaps big enough to get some airflow, but not big enough that it's going to create an attractive target for paintballs, hopefully. The pad on the back covers most of the back. Again, it doesn't go entirely down to the tailbone, but it's not uh, a bad design. It also has relatively small pads on the shoulders that I don't know what good they're going to do normally, but if you're wearing a heavy vest, I suppose that would help. And it also has these laughably small panels on the upper arms that sit kind of right here. Again, I don't know what good that's going to do, but it's there, so if you happen to get hit there, it won't be quite as bad. One more thing that I really like about this is the side padding. On the ribs going down either side, it has somewhat thicker yet softer padding going down either side, basically all the way down to the hip. And this is really nice for those ribcage shots. If you've ever been playing like this and someone over here really stitches you down the side, that's kind of nasty. This padding will help somewhat with that. Now the rest of the material on this jersey is actually very nice. It's light, it's breathable, it's essentially uh, an Under Armour compression shirt with padding in different parts. So in my limited experience thus far, it's not too hot. I think if you were to play in 85, 90, 95 degrees, you probably want to leave this home. But I've played with this in about 70 degrees all day long, playing hard, no problems with overheating as a result of wearing this. One other thing I want to mention is that it can be a little bit tight, so you might want to size it up, although it's designed to be worn as a base layer, so the tightness is to some degree by design. It didn't inhibit me when I played, uh, I didn't notice it when I was playing, but before, when I first put it on and right before I took it off, I noticed it was a little tight kind of in the armpits, so just one more thing to keep in mind. But overall, uh, I really like this. Uh, I'm going to keep using it and see if I decide that I want to use it long term. That's my take on the Planet Eclipse padded undershirt jersey thing. Thanks for watching. See you soon.